Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godot Community Spotlight video. If you are new here, I hope that you feel right at home as each week I try to shine a light on what people are doing with the Godot engine. I'm going to switch things up a bit this week and focus on a specific type of tutorial and today I'm looking at shaders. Game Dev Journey. We often find shaders intimidating and look for other ways to achieve the effects that we want. Jitspo is on a mission to make them less scary and he has a video out on getting started with spatial shaders in Godot 3D. This is a really fun and playful way to get started with using shaders and demystifying some of their voodoo. Watch the full video on Jitspo's channel and subscribe for more. Shaders are so versatile that you can even use them on your tile maps to make them look like the ones found in RimWorld. Vegard has put together a detailed tutorial on how to achieve this rim world effect in your own game. This is a great tutorial to watch to start learning those advanced techniques, and Vegard needs more subs, so you know what to do. Portals are always fun, and players love them. They are mind bending and look awesome in game. Did you know that they can be made with shaders? Magnus Jorgensen is just the person to show you how to do it. He has an extremely detailed video taking you through the entire process step by step. If you want this effect in your game then head over to Magnus' channel and learn more. One of the most common applications for shaders is water and water effects. Kriggs has mad skills in this department and he has a highly recommended video about how to make things float in Godot by applying buoyancy force to a rigid body that synchronizes with a vertex shader. Sounds complicated to me, but by now you have a good understanding of shaders and this will be just what you need to give your game that extra bit of polish. If you thought that YouTube shorts were a waste of time, you'll be surprised to discover that you can learn how to create a shiny foil card effect in Godot in under 45 seconds. Watch Dead Rat's video and see for yourself. It's crazy. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining me and I do hope to see you all again next time.